July 3rd, St. Leo II, Pope. This Leo was a Sicilian by birth and was elected to succeed Pope St. Agatho early in the year 681. His short pontificate is chiefly remembered for his confirmation of the Acts of the Sixth Ecumenical Council, also known as the Third Council of Constantinople. This council had condemned the heresy of monothelism and also anathemized the memory of Pope Honorus I for having hedged and not denounced this heresy outright when he ought to have done so. Monothelism is the school of thought that Christ only had one will, the divine will, and not two wills, one human, one divine. In the condemnation of Pope Honorus I, he wrote, Instead of purifying this apostolic church, he, Honorus, permitted the immaculate to be immaculated by a profane treason. Leo also translated the relics of many martyrs from the catacombs to a chapel he built to receive them. The Liber Pontificalis speaks of this pope's zeal as a teacher and preacher, of his concern for the needy, that he was eloquent and skilled in music, and the same authority thought it worth while to mention that he was proficient in Greek as in Latin. This should only have been expected, though, of a 7th century Sicilian. Pope Leo II died the 28th of June in the year 683. The Church demands the exclusion of a heretic. There is no possible peaceful coexistence, no normal living together between good and evil, truth and error. This is not possible anywhere, moreover within the Catholic Church, which is par excellence, the sacred mountain of truth and goodness. She cannot bear within herself one who defends evil and error. It must have been tremendously difficult for Pope St. Leo II to live in a time that had a bad pope and to condemn his predecessor. By studying our current situation and asking St. Leo II to give us the intense fidelity to the Church and to the papacy that he had, it was this fidelity that made him a saint and a pope. He deemed that he had the duty and the right to use the words he did against Pope Honorus. We pray that St. Leo II will watch over the church and protect her from heresy.